Hey everyone, Scott at Evoke here. I'm here at the Collective, at our new space, preparing a few things, because this Monday, July 15th, our team is heading back to Colombia. Um, you guys know we've been working there for about seven years, from about 2012 now. We've been working in multiple cities with many churches, denominations, foundations, ministries, uh, man, doing everything from art events, creative outreaches, citywide festivals, um, to empowering churches, doing evangelism training, uh, creative workshops, um, youth camps, all types of things. Man, we've been in, we've been in prisons, we've been in jails, we've been in um, youth detention centers, rehabs, schools, bars, uh, with the, the indigenous, under every bridge, Man, we've, we've been everywhere. Uh, anywhere that the door would open, that we could go and share the gospel and bring the love of Christ, we've, we've been faithful to go. And somehow God has just given us that assignment, connected our hearts with the country of Colombia and the people there. And uh, I think we've been faithful to, to spend our time and our resources in that country. And so on Monday, we go back as a team for 10 days. And uh, please be praying for our team as we go. We're working in multiple foundations while we're there. We'll be in the hospitals while we're there. We'll be working with Cali House of Prayer and some training and outreaches on the street. Uh, we're doing a, a citywide love day in some different places with another uh, ministry there and acts of service and kindness throughout the street. Um, we're doing a, a, an outdoor art show in one of the parks on the Independence Day of Columbia there, uh, July 20th. We have a citywide training event called Creativity, the Fire, and the Call. That's multiple churches coming together for evangelism training and empowerment. Um, all kinds of great things happening. And um, we're excited to go. So our team, we've all raised our money. Our flights are bought, our accommodations, and set up for our interpreters and food and, and all this type of thing. And it's great. Yeah, we still need interpreters. Sadly enough, I haven't learned Spanish yet. Yet. I'm not fluent yet. Um, but I know many of you are praying for me to preach my first sermon in Spanish, so hopefully that day comes. Um, but we've raised all of our money to get there. But we're still about $5,000 short of our initial goal as we budgeted for this trip. And the majority of that $5,000 is to go towards resources and supplies for these outreaches. Meaning, we'll get there and we're doing these events, but not only do we love to go and minister in spirit um, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, bringing the gospel, the word of God, but we love to show up with resources. We love, when we, if we're ministering to the ladies and the children at this foundation, man, they're in need of so much. We want to show up with bottles and diapers and clothing and shampoos and, and all this type of stuff. And, and we've done it time and time again. At the hospital, many times they leave, a new, a new mom leaves with almost nothing. And so we, we're, we're coming with these resources. We're coming with these things. With the addicts there, we, we love to go in and, and have a meal for everyone, feed them real well. And we want to start a library at this foundation, a secular foundation that has invited us in to minister the gospel. And we want to start a library of sorts, Bibles and, and good Christian books that can minister to these men's soul as they're in a season of recovery. And so many different things. You know, I've, I've uh, translated my book, Kingdom Creativity, into Spanish. And we've been selling them there. And what's amazing is every dollar from that book goes towards local missionaries there in Colombia. And that's been awesome to be able to do that. And so I'm believing that in the next five days, right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Five days before we leave, that $5,000 is going to come in so that we will have the means uh, to bring resources in abundance everywhere we go, uh, every day that we're there in Cali. So if you can do something to help out with that, if you can stand with us, if you're able to give something towards that, um, man, we would be so grateful. The dollar is strong now, so every, every dollar counts there, you know. It, it goes a long way in Colombia. So if you can give something towards our $5,000 goal here in the next five days, man, it would go straight from your hands to us into resources and provision for those uh, who need it right there in Cali, Colombia. If you can... Uh, send me a message, hit me up, social media. You can go to evokeministries.org forward slash donate and you'll see uh, ways to give right there. 
um, however you can. Thank you guys so much. I know so many of you are always generous uh, to the work and um, those of you that are praying for us and sending us and believing us and we feel your strength and uh, we thank you so much. We love you, bless you, and I can't wait to get back in 10 days and um, give a great report of what happened. Thank you so much.